Hi, in this video I'm going to be running you through the domain registration process and the purchase of web hosting. So first off we'll be covering the domain name availability and actually checking whether the domain name you'd like to purchase is available and making sure that someone else has not registered for you. We're then going to go through the domain registration process along with choosing a web hosting package to suit your needs and actually going through the purchase process of that so you can understand the different options that you might come across. Okay, so this is SiteGround.com. They are who I am recommending that you use for both your domain registration and your web hosting. They provide a great product at an affordable price, but they also have great uh, technical support and sales support. So if you have any questions, you can submit a support ticket and they get back to you extremely fast. We head over to the Google Shopping Reviews you can see that they've got a 4.9 out of 5 from 165 reviews. Now of the few reviews you can, you can see straight away that, uh, that everyone is recommending their technical support, so everyone's saying the tech is quick and efficient, very good service by the chat representative. Um, continue amazed at how far SiteGround's customer support responds. So if you ever have a question or need to know whether it's the product for you, you can just ask them and I'll get back to you nice and fast. Okay, so to get started with the domain registration process, we have to first see if the domain name we would like is available. So SiteGround provide a free domain with your web hosting at the moment. So you can see that because I'm in Australia, they're giving me a .com that they use free, but I'm just going to register a .com. Um, so what we do is we click the domains drop down and then we select the extension of .com. Now depending on what country you're in might depend on what extension they give you for free. However I believe you get most of them for free anyway. It's just a matter of changing it to the one you're after. So if we just type in the domain name you're after here and we then we can see if it's available. So if I go my landscaping.com click search and so what it's going to do now is quickly see if someone else has registered that before and if so it's going to tell me and give me some other options to register but if not it's going to let me continue the process. So we'll just wait a minute. So unfortunately mylandscaping.com has come back as unavailable so basically someone else has registered it for me. So what SiteGround has come back saying? So domain you've chosen is not available and then there's alternatives down the bottom here that I could register instead if I wanted to. So they're just giving some other extensions. So there's .net, .info, .org um, and a couple other than recommendations that they're making to you. Now so if one of these suits you then by all means select it. I highly recommend though that you stay with a .com or one that matches your local country. So if you're in the UK, .co.uk, and then if you're in Australia, .com.au. So since my landscaping.com is unavailable, I'm just going to try my local landscaping.com. So what we'll do is I'll just click proceed, and then this is just going to search again for that domain. Congratulations, the domain my local landscaping.com is available. So that means now I can proceed with web hosting because I've found a domain that's free. If it did come back saying that a second attempt or a third attempt has unfortunately failed for you, just keep trying until you find a domain that suits your business. It is a lot harder to get a short name these days, however obviously for some brand names a lot easier to get. So just keep trying until you get a domain that suits. Okay, so this is where you select the web hosting package that's going to suit your business the most. Now we've got three options. You've got an extremely basic startup package here for $3.95 a month. You've then got the Grow Big package at $7.95. Then you've got the Go Geek at $14.95. Yeah, SiteGram lists a rough visit count that you can get to with each package. So the startup is saying around 10,000 visits a month, Grow Big 25,000, and then Go Geek 100,000. While you probably don't need 25,000 visits a month if you're a small business, there are a couple extra features you get with the Grow Big package like a backup service and premium support and a couple of extra things. So this is the package I am recommending you purchase. So just click order now 
and then this is going to take you through to the order form for your complete. So you just have to fill out all your contact information at the top, enter a password, um, and then do your payment information just below. Now you have to keep in mind the email and password is extremely important because it will let you access your web hosting details. Make sure you are going to remember your email and password. So once you've filled out all these details, just scroll down and it's going to give you a bit more information about your purchase and allow you to choose a, a location of the server. So me being in Australia, Singapore is the closest service, so the best one for me. But if you're in the US, make sure it's select, make sure you've got the US data center selected. And if you're in Europe, make sure you've got the Europe data center selected. So we're just going to click off this. And now you can select the period you want to purchase the web hosting for. So they give you a one month trial for $7.95 and then a $25 setup fee. Or you can pre order for 12 months, 24 months, or 36 months and pay no setup. So I'm just going to pre order for 12 months, select that package. And now it's just telling you how much you've saved and giving you a couple extra options should you wish to take them. Now, domain privacy is highly recommended. So when you register, a domain, it has your private information freely available to anyone that looks up the Whois record. Now with domain privacy for an extra dollar a month, a SiteGround will cover this for you so no one can publicly access this information and they have to email a private email which then will get filtered and then come through to you. Now because I've selected the Grow Big package, I get free premium support, the free basic backup service. And I also get a free SSL certificate, which we'll go through later. Now, I am going to pay the extra dollar a month for Hack Alert monitoring. This just sends me an email every now and then and will alert me should anyone try and hack the website. Definitely recommended just as a little safeguard measure. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly fill out this form and continue with the order, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just completely filled out the form along with my payment details. So, I'm just going to click Submit Order and let SiteGround process my order. So I just have to wait a minute for them to put this order through. Okay, so your order was successfully submitted. Um, it's just currently going through the process of account creation for me. Just have to wait for that. Okay, so it's just telling me now that I will receive a welcome email uh, along with my username and password to the email I provided within the next hour. So this is them just setting up the account and what they're going to do is send an email that has your username and a few other things. Um, so what we can do now is just click proceed to customer area and we'll be able to actually log in to SiteGround. And now that you're logged in, what you'll be able to do is click around to figure out what you actually get access to within SiteGround. So the most important tab here is going to be My Accounts. If you click on that, it's going to load up two things for us currently. It's going to be the web hosting package along with the domain we just registered. So here's the web hosting package for mylocallandscaping.com and you'll see that I've registered the Grow Big. And then there's a couple links here, one to do go to cPanel, which is essentially the web hosting control panel. Uh, I'll go through that in another video. But here are all the details for your web hosting package. So you've got your servers, you've got the IP, you've got your cPanel username, which is the same username you've just used for SiteGround. And then there's the FTP server and then your mail servers. So these will come into play later on, but for now I'm just showing you that this is where you'll be able to find all that information. You can also see the domains that you've got registered with SiteGround here. And so I've just got the one on this account and you can see it's sitting right there, you can see exactly when it expires, so you can make sure that you renew the domain before it does. If you don't renew the domain before it expires, what will happen is someone else will be allowed to register that domain and could potentially steal your business's brand name domain from you and set up their own website on it. Okay, so now you have got a web host package set up along with a domain name registered. So I'll run you through what you can do with that shortly. Uh, so stay tuned.